Hello and welcome to this brief video tutorial on using Medical Subject Headings, or MESH, in the Medline database to help you construct precise searches. Medical Subject Headings are the database's terms for concepts versus keywords, which are your own words to search a topic. To start, log in to the Massage Therapists Association of British Columbia website. Once you've logged in, go to the library page of the website. As you scroll down, you'll see the article database's search box. Using Medline is very similar. Scroll down below that and click on the Medline link. Once you're in Medline, go to Advanced Search. So medical subject headings are terms assigned by the National Library of Medicine in the US. I'm going to briefly demonstrate a search for information on patient education and or massage for runners. I'm going to start with a keyword search again, your own concepts for a term, just to contrast that so you can see how it works differently than medical subject heading. You can see here it says suggest subject terms. That's for using MeSH. I'm going to unclick that for my keyword search and I'm going to do a really general search, massage and runners. So massage and runners, search that. You can see there are nine results. Some of these look really relevant. Keyword searching can be quite effective, but you can also see that there are some things that are a little off topic. This example here, fluid replacement during marathon running, if you look at it, because it's a keyword search, it has looked for your specific words within the article title and abstract. So you can see here that some of these results are completely irrelevant. It has the word runners and the word massage, but it's not entirely on topic. I'm going to do a search with suggest subject terms selected. That's going to ask the database to tell me how it views the topic. So if I did a search for jogging, you can see it's brought back results for jogging and running. It has this feature called scope, which lets me see how the database defines that term. If I click here to see how it defines running, I can see that it actually differentiates between jogging and running. So that tells me that if I want to include both, I should click both terms. And because I'm interested in both of them, I'm just going to make sure that it combines selections with or to tell the database I want articles on jogging or running. So you can see there are over 12,000 results. But of course, I'm also interested in massage and patient education. So I'm going to search massage and that definition looks really good for my search. I could click this box if I wanted to see all the subheadings. So I'm going to, again, check massage, add that to my search. The last concept I wanted to add was patient education. I can add that to my search. Now what I want to do to combine these searches is click search history. All my searches are listed here. So I'm going to combine patient education or massage because I'm interested in either of those. So I've clicked search with or, and you can see search number five searches for patient education or massage. So I'm going to select that. You can see search two searches for jogging or running. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click search with and. You can see there are 17 results. So that's much more manageable. I can scroll through. In some cases, there is a full text PDF available. Click that. You can email it, print it, scroll through to read on my computer. If there's an article I want and I don't see the PDF available, I can copy the title, paste it into the article database's search box on the library homepage and see if it's available there. If there's an article that you're interested in and you don't see the full text available, you can always email me, librarian at massagetherapy.bc Ca. You can also contact me at that email address if you have any questions about searching or accessing any other library resources. Thank you and happy searching!